guys, Sarah here with a layout process video for UK Scrap Addicts today. Um, we are focusing on um, punches for this month, so I'll be using punches a little later on in the video. To begin with here, I'm just applying some clear gesso to my page, which is often night sky with a black silhouette of some trees at the bottom there. This is just so, depending on what I decide to add on top, because I no doubt will use mixed media no matter what I'm doing. Um, it means that the paper will not buckle and it just gives it that extra bit of strength but at the same time the pattern completely shows through it's my favorite gesso to use at the moment um i'm now applying some silver heidi swap um texture paste followed by color shine both silver the color shine does dry it looks dark but it does dry more of a silver the same silver as the stars that star stencil there and now I'm taking this wooden piece here. It's very, very thin wood, like a chipboard piece. And I'm just applying some Versamark ink to make it sticky. And then I'm shaking over some sparkly silver embossing powder. And then I just use, I think it's like a kebab <laughs> skewer or something to um, smush it down, make sure it's completely coated and just pull it off the page so that I don't get it on my fingers and don't lift off any of the embossing powder. And then I go around this quite quickly over a few times so that I know that I'm not going to burn it, over melt any areas, so I just take my time over that. And I do skip a bit of that so you don't have to watch the whole process. And as you can see now it's super shiny and silver and goes well with the rest of the layout so far. I've also got a mirror card circle behind the picture my little boy he's in a slide one of those tunnel slides and it's right at the bottom and the colors just match the night sky really well so that's why i chose that picture there i've now got out four punches they're all from hobbycraft i think they might be two or different brands or just the age of them is why they're different shapes but i do move them around a lot and i do end up taking out the larger stars because I just felt they were too bulky for the layout. I'm also punching out some from the rest of my photo because it has that metallic-y, blue, silvery kind of colour to it. So that worked really well. Um, and I'm just laying them out on top of the texture paste stars to create. I want to create lots and lots of different details all going up the page there. Uh, this is another um, page from the kit the kit i think i've not mentioned is the um cosmic galaxy i think it's called kit by thompson's crafts and i believe she still has some left i think she might have four left so i will link the shop below in case you want to get hold of this oh and there's my kitten always trying to eat bits off my table um and now i'm just adding glue to all those punched out stars and now i'm happy with those i'm now going to add some additional little bits and bobs on top of that making sure I mostly keep to that general um, pattern going up the page diagonally so I've added on some cute little kawaii stars that I don't know if you can see you can kind of see them there they've got little winky faces and smiles and things and so I add some of them and now I'm going to add my mirror card slightly popped up on thin-ish um, foam tape and now my photo on top of that and then I do turn over my wooden piece here and then fold over tiny pieces of foam tape to stick that down I don't show that whole process because it took me a while but it was worth it just to get it all nice and even and now I do the same with my words I just um, add a little bit to either side so that they'll sit flat against the page there and again I've got another quote at the bottom these are all just off one pattern paper that i've just chopped up to create sort of tiny word quote stickers and i had one of the largest stars at the bottom there as well the punched out stars next i'm going to add some sequins which i managed to cut most of out but you can see me just do the last couple here and um, i just dot glue on and then place the sequins on top and i just select a few out of my the package there also from the kit and now I'm adding a few more of them tiny stickers. I think these are little shooting stars. I think I had some little rockets as well. And there's little shiny moons and sequins and all sorts. So it's just a big sparkly mass going up the page. 
and as a finishing touch here I'm just adding some Nouveau drops in silver glitter just dabbing them on here and there all around the outside and in amongst all the sequins etc uh, I think I messed up a couple but I'm not too worried because of the texture paste and everything on there it's quite busy so it all just becomes a general effect I guess you call it across the page so that is me done for today thanks for joining me um, please do like and subscribe if you'd like to see more from us over at UK Scrap Addicts and if you're watching it on my channel then do check out UK Scrap Addicts to see some other crafty goodness over there from other girls that do scrapbooking and yes stay tuned for some close-ups thanks for joining me bye